Today we are heading to Reserva Faunistica Chimborazo. This volcano, Chimborazo, basically this is the closest place to outer space that you can get on Earth. Holy moly, there's a lot of water around at the moment. Wow. It's like literally just lakes straight on the side of the road. The fella's saying to go to the side. Okay, wait, stop here. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Um, uh, uh, 1050. 1050. Sí. Es, uh, uh, well, here we go. We're on our way. Look at this. So Lavi's in the cab. Whoa, that's crazy. Look at this. Buen trabajo. Gracias. Para ti. It's a, a, a canal YouTube. Canal YouTube. Sí. Oh my goodness. Es uh, es otra agua. Ot mucho. Tres. Crazy. Loco, eh? No, no normal. No, 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 no. There's actually one guy on a motorbike and he's going. He's in the front. He's brave. <laughs> Okay, this is a seriously deep bit here. Here we go. <laughs> it gets seriously, seriously deep just here. I think that car is, is, uh, is toast. There's people swimming here on the road. <laughs> Look, this car is, uh, is it still moving? Oh my God. No, no, he's out. He's out. Oh my God. What is going on here? This is ridiculous. The motorcycle would have been completely submerged here. We would have floated away down the river. I've got the front brake on. Hard. Here we go, we're gonna tip, we're gonna tip. Oh my goodness. Yeah? Okay, you got me? Okay, ready? <laughs> oh, okay. Wow, that was like the most insane thing I've ever seen in my life. Seriously. It, it was like being on a boat, but in a car. That's ridiculous. Muchas gracias. Gracias, gracias. Thank you. Gracias, yes. ciao, ciao. <laughs> oh my God. All right, that was a little bit of an interruption. <laughs> Unexpected interruption. Hey, what was going on? What was going on? Unexpected boat ride, hey? <laughs> Yes. Oh man, okay. crazy. Seriously, I'm so thankful for his service because yes. I don't think that we could have made it actually at the end. Uh, no, 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 no. We would have ended up pushing and we would have had, 
it would have been flooded, totally flooded. That was, that was crazy. Oli is preparing a very nice lunch for us. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So we just went to the supermarket and got ourselves some bread and cheese and add that with the magic ingredient that is Marmite. And I mean, you're in heaven basically. I mean, that's, oh my God, I'm so excited about this. So of course, we just got a slice of cheese. We've got the bread. There's the sandwich. This for you. Yes. Dum, dum, dum. Marmite party. A little bit more water on the road here. Ooh. Wow. And stick my feet up here. Basically got a lake there and it's draining off into the lake down here. So it's In just a sideways river on the road. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Anyway, that one bumblebee could handle on her own. Yes! <laughs> oh man, I hope we don't have to take any more trucks. So we're just stopping at a petrol station and we've decided that we are going to have to uh, disconnect the media mod now and put our rain gear on because we're about to head into the mountains and it looks incredibly dark and yeah we thought we better get ready for it now. Got some sort of queue here, not sure exactly what's going on. We've just started to go up into the mountains. It looks like a landslide, hey? Wow, they are, they're literally trying to dig it out as we speak. Yeah, I think we really underestimated how difficult it might be to actually travel through here during the rainy season. Wow. Jesus. Holy moly. We have been told that we can give it a go. There's a river running down the road here as well. It's crazy stuff. We're really starting to climb up now. We've come off the main road and we're taking this little road, which is a bit of a cut through in the mountains. I just hope that it's paved all the way. We've just made it above the clouds and now we are in the mountain jungle baby. And we pretty much just climbed around 2000 meters while we're still climbing. It's getting to like 13 degrees now. We've climbed up quite a lot. So uh, this armor is too cold now. So it's time to get back out our coats. So we are good prepared now. We have our fleeces on, our motorbike jackets on, our raincoats on. And yeah, this road is so steep and so windy. I think this is the steepest road we have ever driven. It's super crazy. Wow. Hopefully it doesn't get any colder. But this one is the wrong direction. Your camera is dead. So we are nearly at 14,000 feet. It's really high altitude here. I think it's about 4,000 meters. So the volcano is somewhere over there, but it's so cloudy, it's so rainy, we can't see anything. <laughs> but we are pretty close to the furthest place from the center of the earth, right here. 
pretty much closest we're going to get, eh? Yeah. Let's continue back on this road. And uh, we're about an hour away from where we're going to try and take a room for the night. Right now, we've got to get back on this bike. And we are going to find our way somewhere warm and cosy. I can't believe that we went from 30 degrees to this. to stop and eat something because we got really sick look at my fingers i'm so cold oh. i just feel really sick because we went so high up and it's so cold we went from sea level to like 4,000 meters in a couple of hours we're both feeling pretty dizzy and wet and cold I don't mind being wet down at sea level where it's warm and I don't mind being in the mountains but when you combine it together plus the temperature got to three degrees it's ridiculous My boots are soaking wet because I had to walk in the puddle like in the puddle which was knee deep And we both got soaking feet I was expecting this morning a beautiful ride, beautiful views. I have a view of the nice mountain. Nothing! There's nothing! Oh, we're nearly at the equator. Oh, it's all nice and tropical and warm. We saw alpacas again. And you know when you see alpacas, you've gone too high. So anyway, we're going down now. And, um... We're going to try and find accommodation as soon as we can. Hopefully within half an hour we'll be in a nice cosy room. So this is the town of Ambato and we finally arrived. We found a posada, a little hostel, a couple of miles down the road. So that should be fine. What a view, hey, what a view. Oh my goodness! This is how wet my socks were for like the last six hours. Soaking wet, freezing cold, but we've arrived at Hostel El Gaucho and they have a room for us. It's a little bit expensive here actually. Um, it's uh, like here in town, I mean, in Ambato, this is one of the cheapest places we could find and it's $25 for the night. Yeah, they actually wanted 30, but I asked for 25 and they said yes. <laughs> hey, save $5 here, save $5 <laughs> there. No harm in trying. Yeah, but the place looks super amazing and we have a secure parking place for Bumblebee as well. So I think we will have a good rest. They have a sign here which says Dusha. Hopefully a nice warm shower. <laughs> well, it doesn't actually say hot Dusha. It just says Dusha. So we don't know if it's hot, but anyway, they're just preparing the room for us now and then we can get warm and cozy. Yes, absolutely crazy ride today. Going from tropical 30 degrees to three degrees high mountain. I cannot believe that. <sighs> and a bit of a failure because we couldn't really see Chimborazo but anyway we were there we were at the highest point in Ecuador pretty much and the furthest place from the Earth's core from yes. the Earth's center <laughs> and the closest place to outer space so I mean I feel like a different person now yeah <laughs> we couldn't really see anything but we were there Yes, so that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below. And if you really, really, really like our videos, then you can join us on Patreon. The link is in the description below. And we will see you next time. Is it hot? It's hot. Woo!